Hey Gemini's gang gang. I hope you guys are doing well. Oh, we already off the rip. I hope you guys are doing well, Gemini's. This is gonna be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your north node, okay? Keep in mind it won't resonate with every single Gemini. So take what resonates and leave the rest, or take it how it resonates to you personally. Um, of course, personal readings in the description box, you guys. Uh, you can email me or you can go through the Etsy, whatever you feel comfortable with. <laughs> um, yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys, if this resonates with you. So first and foremost, we have Perseverance comes out for you. And it says, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. You guys are having getting that and humor all the time. Oh, something else with them. Oh, courage. Wow. So it says... I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay, so some of you guys might be uh, working on your confidence. Moving forward, despite what you've been through in the past, Gemini. Change, yep. I knew it. And it says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So I feel like a lot of you guys are understanding that um if you're wanting to have a certain life or live a certain way you're going to have to make some changes that includes um you know certain careers may not work for you certain people may not work for you um y'all excuse the noise in the background my son is playing uh jenga so so yeah you guys i feel like you guys are um really tapping into yourselves oh wow okay so ooh, spirit 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 really really <laughs> so we have the strength card um we have the devil on the bottom <sighs> he has to show his face um we have the lovers we have the seven of swords we have the Hierophant. We have the Nine of Swords. Y'all know I usually take this many cards, but they all came out. And the King of Wands. Heavy Leo energy, guys. Okay. Um, Taurus energy. Of course, Gemini is popping up in the reading. I love to see it. Capricorn over here with the Devil. Okay. So, Gemini. So far, I'm feeling like... Um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing some confidence here. I'm also feeling like, Gemini, your confidence might be bothering someone else or your confidence might be bothering other people as well. You may have someone that isn't quite used to you or used to someone like you, uh, Gemini, if that makes sense. Um... I'm trying to think of a way to put it. You may have had someone in the past or someone that you meet that might not be used to um, someone with your type of personality um, or someone. I feel like a lot of you guys have gone done a lot of spiritual work and they may not be used to that or they may not know really know what to do with you. If that makes sense, Gemini's. Um, with this King of Wands here next to the Nine of Swords, I don't know why I'm getting the vibe that your confidence is bothering somebody. Your confidence is uh, stressing someone out. Like, I don't know, guys. It's, it's a very strange energy. <laughs> or you have a Leo that is uh, stressing out over you or a fire sign or something along the lines of that. Uh, I'll give an example. Like, me like being in the dating world first of all i don't date a lot because i find most people to be um extremely underwhelming um so um <laughs> uh, i've been called arrogant by so many people guys while i when i'm dating but i feel like it's because they're not really used to my energy like i don't let other people come in and tell me how i am when i've done so much inner work i've done so much spiritual work you can't just come in and tell me how i am or you know why i do things or whatever the case may be so um 
This person may feel like you're arrogant. You may have someone, Gemini, that thinks you're arrogant or whatever the case may be. Why is a strength card here? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of heavy Leo energy here. So some of you guys might be getting more attention and someone doesn't like that. Someone might be feeling some type of way that you are. Um... Okay, so the page of swords comes out. Huh. With the six of swords on the bottom, yeah. You guys might be healing healing something or healing yourselves. But um I'm getting the vibe of you're trying to find a way to heal um like inner demons or someone around you needs to do that, uh, Gemini. Someone around you needs to heal, or someone around you is becoming aware of their triggers. But it is still at a page level, so it's not like the Two of Pentacles. Ooh. <laughs> Gemini, are you juggling people? Or do you have more than one person um, that wants to deal with you? That's a very interesting. Or some of you guys are... Uh, Starting to prioritize love where you were where you weren't before, or vice versa. You may be um, not prioritizing love like you were at one point, and there's really nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with not prioritizing love, guys. The King of Pentacles, yeah. See, I knew we were going to see this. <laughs> I knew we were going to see this. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the vibe. You may have someone around you that isn't being honest or someone you were dealing with before that's not the most honest. They may have been juggling, uh, Gemini. Or they may have accused you of juggling and that was, in fact, what they were doing. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, the Three of Swords comes out <sighs> under the Hierophant. Some of you guys may have a Taurus around you or someone with Taurus in your chart. In their chart, I mean, you have Taurus in your chart, Gemini. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like, um, yeah, there, there's a, there was a connection here that was broken, and someone is broken hearted over it. Someone is like stressed over it. And I feel like Gemini, you look kind of bossed up. Like you, you've bossed up to the point where it's like, for some of you, you might be dealing with this person. And you are like, I don't have to put up with you. Like, your confidence is is getting going through the roof now. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so it could be a Sagittarius. Some of you guys are dealing with. I also saw the Knight of Wands too while I was shuffling. The Ace of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> And the Four of Swords, yeah. You guys are um, greatly working on yourself and someone isn't liking that. Someone's not liking this new you, Gemini. Someone's not liking this new you. Because they know they can't approach you how they did before. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Like... My bad, y'all. I don't mean to laugh at y'all's person. But they know they can't come with the fuckery that they had before. They're going to have to come in this King of Pentacles energy. Or this Hierophant energy. They know they can't come with this Seven of Swords like they were. They know it. And I feel like that's the issue here. I feel like they're battling why y'all why when I was about to say I feel like they're battling their selves the strength card is about battling yourselves it's about if your inner demons the strength card is clarifying the strength card guys this person has a lot of inner demons and I feel like they have a lot of love for you but they don't know how to express it could be an Aries for some of you or a Leo heavy fire in in the readings as of course either fire or the devil we you know Gemini's are going to see but, um, yeah, they, they have a lot of things that they need to work on. And I feel like they are. I feel like they're still at a page level, though. Like, they're not, they're not at this hierophant yet. 
Okay, Gemini, I feel like you're getting to this hierophant level. They're just now becoming aware of their of their fucked up ways. They're like at, you know, on a totem pole of, of one to ten. Gemini, you might be like at a seven. They're still like at a two. Like they're just now learning how to um, see their triggers and see where they where they went wrong or where they're going wrong in their connections. Because I feel like this person isn't getting what they want out of a, out of connections, and I feel like they're trying to figure out why. They still may lack some accountability, uh, Gemini's right now. It's going to take them a while to. Uh, to see that the queen of cups hmm very interesting energy let me pull another card i have an, i have a feeling <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's what i thought okay so the knight of pentacles and the six of pentacles yeah <laughs> This person is wanting to come back around so you can pretty much nurse them back to health. After all the fuckery, after all the bread crumbing, after the slow moving, after the bullshit, this person expects you to be the one because I feel like you were always the one, Gemini. You were always the one that was there for them. That was um, like the, sh uh, the shoulder for them to lean on. The person that they can talk to easily. The person that was understanding. Um, you know, regardless of what, you know, what gender you are, Gemini. Male, female, whatever. Right? So, this person wants to try to come back around. They're going to try to trot their ass back to you. Because they can't find anyone else that is going to give them that nurturing that you gave. Not for the little bit, little bits, uh, bits and pieces that they were offering, because they didn't really have to offer shit. They could come in when they got ready. They can leave when they got ready, and then you and this Queen of Cups energy, Gemini, you you bring them back with open arms. Now they think they can always do that shit. But I feel like a lot of you guys are in this King of Wands energy now. You're like, no, fuck that. Like you can't come back around. You're gonna have to actually put in some effort. If for those of you that want them back. Because I feel like some of you guys aren't even going to deal with this person again. But if you, it, for this person to even get any type of reaction out of you, they're going to have to like come at you uh, in a better way than they were before. Yeah, see the page of swords again on the bottom. Yeah. The seven of swords too, guys, is... Um, them trying to do the least see oh oh my god guys as i'm shuffling look what pops up on the bottom yeah so this pretty much confirms what i'm saying we got the devil here and we have the devil here so with this seven of swords here you guys the seven of swords can also be about trying to take shortcuts um so with the queen of cups i feel like and this could be past energy with what with what you went through with the person in the past okay the Queen of Cups coming up over the Seven of Swords, I'm getting the vibe of they're trying to do the least amount of work that they can, the least amount of effort that they can to, to get your love and nurturing back. Because they could before. Before they could just come in and breadcrumb you, but you were just happy to have this person in your presence. Now you're like, mm, no, I'm good on my own. So what, what else you got? <laughs> You can't come. You you pulled your energy away from this person, and now they're and they feel it. Now they're stressed out because it's like, okay, now I gotta come with something better than what I was offering. The Six of Pentacles is crossing the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Now I gotta bring something more than what I was before. Because Gemini's not Gemini's confidence is through the roof, man. Man, <laughs> oh gosh, the five of pentacles on the bottom, you guys. Yeah, let me show y'all what came out though. The five of wands, guys, it's you. Y'all might have, y'all might have some conflict, or this might have been a past situation where there was some conflict because this person is not feeling your new confidence level. 
and the page of wands God told you this person keeps coming up as a page a page the page of wands and the king of wands here like come on this this isn't even you know um, this doesn't measure up and they know that and I feel like that's why they're so stressed because it's like okay how can I approach a Gemini Gemini is not taking what I used to give so now I have to bring something else. I have to bring something more. But what? What can I give now? And I and this five of wands too here, guys, can also be. Um, they feel like they're they're uh, there's some competition. I'm getting the the vibe of this with this cross and the king of wands. There might be some jealousy um, as well with you dealing with someone. Else. They feel like you're dealing with someone else. Yeah. I need a little bit more clarification, though. Strength in the Queen of Cups spirit. Yeah, they're going to... Uh, listen, Gemini, they're going to be back. They will be back. Quickly. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. And like I said, you guys, because they see you as their partner, but they weren't really willing to put in the work. Why, why don't you want to put in the work? They want to come in and reap the benefits. They want to come in and get your support. They want to come in and get your nurturing. But they don't want to put in the work. Or they didn't before. I feel like this person is, is going to hesitate a little bit. Um, we're coming back around. Because they know that Gemini is not... Oh my God. No. <laughs> oh gosh. The tower. And the two of cups. I told you guys. I told y'all. This person was it, regardless of what they say, you guys. I feel like this person really had a lot of love for you. They saw you as like um, commitment material. And I feel like this fuckery with this tower here, I'm getting two different things because it's, it's crossing the three of swords and the nine of pentacles. So I feel like with this tower here, you guys, I feel like it could be whatever you went through with this person caused you to completely look at stuff a completely different way. And I feel like this had to happen for this person to grow up. So even if you um, don't deal with them again, this had to happen for them to grow up. And they are fighting it, guys. They are fighting this and I feel like spirit is kicking their ass because they just won't listen. They're not listening to themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. And they're paying for it. But again, spirit is beating their ass, right? Y'all look the, man, spirit, man, the Queen of Cups on the bottom. As soon as I was getting ready to say what I was about to say, because I was about to speak on the Queen of Cups again, and I see it on the bottom. So, you guys, Spirit is beating this person's ass, and they want to come back around for you to nurse them back to health. Instead of them just, instead of them doing the work, you need to do the work. You need to do the inner work, the spiritual work. They're not doing it. It's taking them too long. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Mm. <laughs> yeah, Gemini. I feel like you're you're pretty much um over whatever this is. This this person I feel like has done a little bit too much damage. Um I feel like you're you're basically over you're over this. I'm also getting the vibe too with this uh with the full on the bottom. They may be afraid that you're completely done with them now. Yeah, that's what I thought. The the Nine of Wands. Yeah, they they don't want you to be done with them for good. But it's like they're they're moving so slow to to grow up. It's almost like what's the point? And <laughs> like what's the point, guys? You know, they they moving so slow to to grow up. They're moving so they move so slow to give you anything, or they move so slow to express anything. And it's like, come on. 
calling in your soulmate. Gemini, you might be manifesting someone else, like I said in the last reading. Religious factors. I told y'all they're not growing spiritually. This person is is spiritually stuck. And they're getting their ass beat by spirit. And then they want to try to come back around for you to, to fix it. Because they know that you, you're more spiritual. They may even ask you like a spiritual question or something. Like as the opening line or whatever the case may be. But spirit is beating their ass. And now they want to try to come back around to you. Instead of just, you just need to get that ass whooping and grow up. And then you won't, you won't be going through all that. It don't have nothing to do with you, Gemini. And there's nothing that you can do for this person. So don't think it falls on you. Or don't think it's your responsibility. Deception. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else. <sighs> Don't think it falls on you and don't think it's your responsibility, okay, to get this person right or to get this person together, to teach this person. Um, they have a lot of work to do, and I feel like they're not doing it, and they're going to keep going through this. They're going to keep getting these towers, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's, finan it's finances, it's mentally. This person might be depressed with this Nine of Swords here. They might be going through depression, might be going through anxiety, Um their finances might be taking a hit. Uh, and it, it's going to continue until they make a change. Until you actually start doing the work. You're going to continue to have money problems and mental health and all these other things. Okay, I'm not taking all these, but I'll take the first one that showed. Your Mind Steel by Young Blue. I told y'all. This person feels very territorial over you. Which, it could be a spiritual connection. I really like you, XO. Again, I feel like this might be a new person, uh, Gemini. Lifetime by Maxwell. Let's see what else comes out. I love your body. You're so beautiful to me. Love or light up the darkness. I feel like you guys are tapping into your heart chakra. Gemini, you're typing into your confidence. Yeah, I love it. But keep keep in mind, Gemini, though, that your confidence might piss some people off. Because now they can't come in with the fuck shit that they were coming in with before. I'm sorry for everything. Yeah, y'all just got this in the last read. And I, I and Gemini, honestly, I do feel like Luxury Love by Mario. I do feel like this person, um, does care about you and they do have feelings for you they just don't express them and at this point like Gemini's listen how how long have, have we been picking up on this person that has love for you and can't express them like I mean they need to do something at this point because they keep coming up in the readings you know do something at this point single by choice that might be you Gemini or it might be this person <laughs> Or they might be delusional because honestly, their love life might be affected by this too, by uh, them not listening to spirit. Manifest from the heart, yeah. I feel like this person's manifestations are being blocked. I want you so bad, yeah. They want you to come fix it. Now again, Gemini, this, I feel like this person does love you a lot. It better not be someone else. <laughs> Let love replace for you. I have a lot of love cards. I love it. I feel like you guys are opening your heart chakra. And that way, you that's, that's going to attract to you what you want. That's if you're looking, Gemini. Okay? Please don't give up on me. I told you. I told you. this. They're aware that they have a lot of work to do. They know they do. And I feel like they're like at a level one or a level two at this point. Uh, Gemini's. Nobody feels as good as you do. We haven't seen that one in a while. Let's get a couple more. And I'm going to hop off of here. I let my friends or family in my ear. Yeah, that might resonate with, with someone. Rent free by six lakh. I'm telling you, they think about you constantly, Gemini. I'm mad at myself for how I treated you. Yeah, y'all been getting this a lot too. All right, Gemini's. That shows reading. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, hit that like. Hit that subscribe, you guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. Till next time. Peace out.